What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another pack review. We are going to be taking a look at England's Euro 2024 pack selection here. It comes with Southgate, who's got a dual proficiency for his managers. And of course, we've also got Bellingham, Foden and Declan Rice, who are probably the highlight players of this. Now, these packs are 900 coins. Brazil, Turkey, Portugal and England. We've already covered the premium Argentina and France pack with Griezmann big time and Messi big time. These are 1500, so you can check out the reviews for them. But on this pack here, lads, the big thing with, with Southgate is going to be the fact that he is a dual team playstyle proficiency manager. 86 quick counter, 87 long ball counter, and that is that is going to mean that you're going to be able to do a lot of stuff with the sub tactics. We'll show you that in a, in a second. I'm actually going to go through it from the rip and set this team up perfectly to get the best out of it. I think within the next couple of weeks, I think that Southgate is going to be the meta, especially as he's got plus one acceleration. And he can on the fly switch things up very, very quickly. One knock against him is that he does give experience points for players by 400%, but it's only for midfielders. So that is something that if you were doing it in my league, I have a video on how to boost up your XP very, very quickly. Picks of the pack, lads. We're going to show you the builds from in a second. I would say Trent, Rice, Foden and Bellingham. It is a disappointing pack in terms of the players that are missing from it. You've no Saka, you've no Harry Kane. And of course, you don't have uh, any of kind of like the exciting kind of youngsters that are there as well that could have gotten cards, such as Eze. You have Harry Maguire still involved in this. I mean, you've got Ollie Watkins here, who's kind of nice, obviously. Um, but you've got no Kyle Walker. So there's a lot of kind of missing with this pack, I would say. Um, but obviously, it is based around Foden, Rice and Bellingham and Trent. Stones is there as well. But you are missing a couple. So we're going to show you the setup here. This is a very kind of like intriguing pack. And I've seen a lot of people buy this Southgate pack. It's definitely been the most requested one so far. Right. So we're going to start off off the rip. We've trained up a couple of players. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you lads if you don't have a lot of XP I know you get 40,000 points for your trainers but you're probably only going to max out one player with those 40,000 points or even not even max them out just get them maybe kind of like three quarters of the way there I don't think that there's a point in you know these are not unless you're playing with a dedicated English squad or a French squad or an Argentinian squad I don't think that the, these players are like Every single player is very usable. I think I've trained up the guys that I would definitely recommend you get. You know, we've got no Luke Shaw or, or Kyle Walker. Um, you know, we've got Trent who can play CMF, but we've no real traditional right back in this squad then. John Stones can play right back. But yeah, there's a lot to there's a lot to kind of like like about this squad and this pack uh, kind of setup. But I do feel as if, you know, there are a couple of weaknesses obviously there. You know, no Saka, no, none of the kind of fringe players as well to give them a little bit of a dig out. But it would have been nice. Now, Bellingham is definitely a really good version of Bellingham here. I, I feel like that he could be a really solid one. But we are going to start at the back, right? Pickford, obviously his reflexes with his height at 185. His jump is a little bit low because he's only got 21 levels. If he had maybe 25, 26 levels, it could be a different story. But I don't think that Pickford is really worth if you're going to be looking for wins. If you're playing for fun or you're looking to have an England squad, then go for it. The same with Harry Maguire. He's just too slow, man. I mean, he's down as a build-up here. So is Stonesy. Stonesy trained up has got 80 speed and every stat in defense that is going to be above 90. Harry Maguire is just too slow. He's too clunky. Um, you know, he's just not somebody that you're going to be going to be training up. And he does have blocker and interception, but he doesn't have acrobatic clearance. He doesn't have sliding tackle. And I just feel like a lot of his stats are lacking, especially his tackling and his aggression. They're not too bad, but that acceleration and speed, even with the boost of one with Southgate who gives that, that's not going to make any much difference to it, right? So I would also say with Chilwell, even though he can play left mid or left back, it's not a bad option either. He's got 29 levels, but there's just so many better attacking fullbacks in the game, especially when you look at his player skills there. He does have one touch pass and pinpoint crossing. It's not a bad card at all, but there's just so many good fullbacks in the game now, you know, that, that you can just operate there. Even GP guys, it's a very standard card. This is what you're kind of looking for. Speed, acceleration, balance, bit of passing, bit of dribbling, and a bit of defense. That's all you need with your left backs. It's not going to be kind of like even mid-game, I would say, with a lot of these. That also brings us on to stones that we have here. We'll show you the build that we have for stones, right? And this is actually quite a decent build. We've just gone for one into dribbling, three into dexterity. You're not going to get the dexterity and balance up no matter what you do. Anyway, lower body, we're going to go eight into that to get the speed to 80. 
aerial strength 4 and defending 13 that's going to be a pretty decent build now if you look and how he compares right um with the free beckenbauer build up right they're similar obviously stones is going to be a lot taller uh, by a couple of centimeters but I, I feel like that beckenbauer is definitely going to be able to hold his own especially defensively and of course with that speed being 85 over the 80 with stones but still they're very solid cards man this stones card is definitely not something to be laughed about his stamina is pretty decent his defensive awareness is pretty decent and of course his tackling and aggression are higher or equal to Beckenbauer. And Beckenbauer is a fantastic card. Aggression and defensive engagement is going to be higher as well. Aerial ability wise he's going to be pretty solid. His passing, his dribbling, he can do it all. He's just a very solid card. But is he going to replace your kind of chosen centre backs? I don't think you're going to be the buying the pack for him. One of the cards you might buy for this pack or buy this pack for is Trent. And I like the uh, variety that Trent has here because obviously in real life he is playing for England in the Euros as a centre midfielder, kind of like tracking back um, and kind of going forward, being a lot on the ball. He's very good technically. Obviously he has a couple of defensive frailties, but he's just an incredibly technical player, fantastic engine on him. And really I think you do have to find a space for him in England squad if you are Gareth Southgate. But in eFootball, does he actually play? Well, I was disappointed with Trent when I first signed him and I actually played a few more games with him. He is definitely a possession-based player. I don't think Southgate's long ball counter suits him, but that is the build that we've gone for there. It's 0 3 7, 11 8 0, and 5 into defending. 80 aggression is more than enough for an attack and fullback finisher, and he does have some nice player skills, soul control, one touch pass. No real defensive capabilities, but you know what you're getting with him. You know what you're getting with him. There's no point in trying to make him something that he's not. Gallagher, we haven't trained him up, and to be honest with you boys, I don't think that we will. Gallagher is one of these players that's neither here nor there. He doesn't have enough defense to be able to train it up apart from aggression. He's too slow. His balance and acceleration are not good enough for an attack on box-to-box. -box. And trust me, there are so many box-to-box -box players in the game, even GP Barella. Do not buy the box just for Gallagher unless he's your favorite player. It's a different story for Rice, who we see here with the build. And it's going to be 0 4 2 6 10 6 8 and of course for Bellingham, Rice is a fantastic player, he's down as a box-to-box, -box. I've trained him up as a defensive box-to-box, -box. get that defensive engagement to 95, get his speed to 80, his physical contact past 85, 86, and of course you're going to have tight possession and low pass into the 80 zone, very very solid card, very impressed with him, I've equally or more so been impressed with 100 overall Jude Bellingham, now we've gone for a very spicy attack and player build, because he's a whole player, 85 speed and acceleration, 4, 2, 7, 12, 6, nothing into defense. Now, a few people will ask, why not put a bit into defense? One reason and one reason only, boys. You've got one of the best double touch, flip flap, soul control, and one touch pass with first time shot while still having interception and fighting spirit. One of the best whole players in the game right now is Bellingham because he's got that unique height and still being able to dribble style build, blend of uh, kind of like height and skills. He's got excellent stats, brilliant, brilliant stats, so balanced, one of the most balanced cards in the game. I mean, literally every stat is 85 or more, including speed, acceleration, kick and power, tight possession, dribbling, ball control, low pass, finishing, and then of course he's got the balance and stamina. I think it's wasted using a whole player as a defensive player. If you wanted to pop on three onto aggression, if you don't dribble that much, you could do that and get the 80 aggression, it will help, but he's definitely worth getting for that. I would also say with Gordon, this guy, we haven't trained him up. You know what you're getting with him. is a speedster. Any speedster on the wing will do the job for you. But I feel like now his finishing is a little bit better with this card. It's not a bad card at all. The balance and type position is what kills this card. Even raising this by 15 levels, which is going to take the majority of his 26 levels here, you're going to have only a player that doesn't reach 90 in balance. Ollie Watkins is the same. He's got speed. He's got acceleration. His balance and type possession make him non-running gun. But he's got good finishing, good attacking awareness. There's just so many center forwards in the game right now, but it's not a bad option. So last but not least, before we look at Southgate and how to set it up, we are going to take a look at Foden and a bit of a deep dive on him. Fantastic card, lads. I think this is the pick of the pack. I have been blown away with how good Foden is. He's just so, so quick on the ball. Obviously, he's 171 centimeters. He's so rapid on the ball. Speed, acceleration, balance, stamina, ball control, dribble, and tight possession. The perfect blend of everything. Now, we only put this card and this build with 80 pass and 80 finishing, but it is a 3-2-9-10-10-0-0-0 build. 
I would have liked to finish him a little bit higher for the season that he had. I think they've done him a little bit dirty there. But obviously, we can tr we can get that up a little bit if we wanted to. We've only popped three into finishing and ten into dexterity and lower body to max out the role that we want to play for him. Because he's a creative playmaker, he's going to pick up slightly different pockets of space, and you can play him everywhere. He doesn't have any defense, but you literally can play him anywhere across apart from DMF. It's a fantastic card. Now, I want to take a look at Sauke, right? A lot of people will say, well, why use Sauke? Well, this is the biggest reason for using Sauke, right? If you switch on your sub tactic from long ball counter and you start off the game with long ball counter, you can have a very, very different style of a team. You can push Bellingham up a little bit here and have him sitting. Then you can even push back Declan Rice a little bit deeper here. You can push Trent into midfield on the right. There's a lot that you can do with this team if you want to go excessively attacking into a quick counter and i i do like that i honestly do like that i feel as if like that there is a couple of like options that you can do with this squad if you are going to be going attacking or you're chasing the game and the fact that he's a double proficiency manager with the players that you have you probably have like four end game players here if you've never played the game before and you haven't got other versions of bellingham foden rice trent if you guys want me to deep dive on one of these cards if you want me to do a deep dive with bellingham we can take a look at that. Obviously, this is a slightly longer video than we usually do, but I definitely do feel that it warrants it because the England pack is very unique. I think in that they've got a lot of different cards that, that you can kind of look at and try and, um, you know, make something of. Like, we have different versions of Bellingham here. This has been one of my favorite versions of Bellingham was the free Bellingham here. But because he's a whole player, the new one, the England pack one, you've just got so much going for him, including that speed and acceleration that are going to be lovely at 85. Obviously, you're not going to have any at aggression or tackling compared to the other free one that you have. But it's a very solid card if you missed out on this one. The big trick with this Bellingham is his attack and awareness. That is a huge aspect of the game now. And we will get into a video on that as well. There's obviously been different versions of Bellingham that we have, but I would have liked to see a little bit more variety in the players. Obviously, Harry Kane be missing, Luke Shaw, Kyle Walker, and Asaka be missing is a big one. But let me know what you guys think of the England pack. That is it for me. A little deep dive on that. I definitely think it's going to be the meta very, very soon with Southgate. Until next time, I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.